it's a new garage. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. But anyway, here's the Busa, thousand dollar Busa. Um, did a few things to it, and uh, I'm gonna take it for a little test ride. This is the first ride, so should be interesting. I did warm it up already. That's why it's spitting. Still waiting on a coolant overflow, so that it's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh my God, it's moving. I bet this guy never thought this bike would be running again. Hold on, I gotta close the big garage for sure. Oops, wrong way. Healthy, as healthy as a little newborn chicken can be, true. All right. Oh man, I'm literally leaking cooling on the driveway. Ooh. Sorry, I gotta keep moving because the coolant is, um, I don't have a coolant overflow. So the coolant's just, you know, leaking out. I know it's a it's a Bessie. You're good. Uh, just keep going. I mean, the only thing that feels like a little like I could use some TLC on this is the cam chain tensioner and probably a new cam chain. But I could tell by the cam chain tensioner that it needs a new cam chain. Such a quiet machine. You okay? Honestly, this bike's pretty comfortable. I mean, yeah, it's definitely more comfortable than the H2. It feels a bit like a spaceship up front just because of all the, like, the dials, you know? The... Oh yeah, it's like a touring bike for adrenaline junkies. Does my brake light work? Nice. Oh, and this brake is actually getting a little better. Wow, we are going through a boatload of bugs. What? 
I just downshifted and did a like a miniature acceleration. <laughs> Honestly, I might have to keep this bike. I mean, I want to sell it, but it's also like, I'm never going to come across a thousand dollar Hayabusa again. Yeah. What, the Busa? I mean... I mean, it really is. It feels good. It, it's comfortable. This is my only my second time ever riding one. And, and the first time I rode one, I was it was my uncle's. And he had like eight-year-old tires on it that wouldn't even get traction. But this is... Like, the fact that the, the, gash, the gas gauge is... Um, it's like dynamic, you know what I mean? Like it, it'll tell you whether you have 5%, 10%, 15%. It's, uh, it's, it's got a long range. It's not just a, you know, gas light that comes on. You said you smell rain? I do too. You can really smell the wet desert. You know, it, it's, a, it's a thing. Hopefully my turn signals work. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, this is a really nice bike. I mean, I kinda, I kinda did a lot too. I did exactly what needs to be done. I feel like the choke is constantly on. Yeah, actually, maybe... Yeah, this thing gets it in the power band. I mean, it isn't a... Um, it's not the H2 by any means, nor is it the Tuono, but... You can just tell it's planted and has the power to go. Like it's not. Um, there's no issues there. There's a car in front of us with no brake lights. So yeah, it's completely. Like honest to God, if this thing was lowered just a smidge, I think Lacey could ride this. Okay, we got to go around this guy. He's about to start blowing rocks, so he just pulled over. I, I love how it's a dial for the speed, you know? And it goes all the way to 180. Like, what other vehicle in the world has a dial gauge that goes to 180 miles an hour like i mean they should have done 200. they should have gone to 200 just to like make it a goal of every busa owner to like okay i i can potentially hit that i can make it to the 200 mile per hour club it's all analog yeah
And honestly, it feels somewhat nimble, when, like, which is pretty good. <laughs> I think you'll be impressed. Um, so do you want to go to Family Dollar? I'm going to get some gas over here. And I'll just, it's, it's right here on the left. So you just go straight and there's a left turn lane to get in there. Your gas light's not on, is it? Two error lights? Yeah, you want to ride the Busa? Okay. Is it safe? Yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly think it's perfect. Okay. The only thing... There's nothing. Is what? The front brake's a little spongy. Okay. But I mean... Yeah, no. I, I wasn't going that fast. No, dark. Everything's perfect on Everyone's it. Everyone's throwing the brakes on us. And yeah, you'll love it. It's literally a godsend. Hello? Perfect. But yeah, no, I rode that. I loved it. I, I honestly. <laughs> it, it, it's one of those special bikes. You know what I mean? Hold in the clutch. Hold that. Just hold that starter down. Which is the start button? Oh. Got it. Did it die? No, I forgot to turn the key on. Oh, okay. <laughs> How's it feel in comparison? It's a lot uh, more comfortable. Right? Yeah. I'm a clutch is a lot looser too. You mean like this easier to pull? Uh not bad, it's uh What do you mean? Oh, they're just so far up. Yeah. Yeah, so then we just go right until it dead ends and then right.
like you get kicked in the nuts every time you accelerate. Just... being a little uh, spongy the rear brake works good too and it's got new tires front and back so She didn't even card me for my beer, I guess. She asked me. Oh, she did? Yeah, she just asked me for my birthday. <laughs> you like that one more? What? You like that one more? It's more goofy, yeah. A lot of people lower them. It becomes even more comfortable then. turn signals on this one. I said I have turn signals on this one, but they're kind of weird. I love how they are on this bike, but I wish I put mounted them differently on the back because it's hard for someone to actually tell. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. They have, yep. Yeah. 